Let's go beyond the headline with meteorologist Grant Gilmore to explain why Haiti tends to be hit so hard by these earthquakes. Earth's outer shell is split up into several sections or plates. Now Haiti is near the intersection of two of these plates and earthquakes happen when those plates move against, under or over each other and create friction. Multiple fault lines between those plates cut through or near the island of Hispaniola, which Haiti shares with the Dominican Republic. Experts say those plates go from smashing together to sliding past one another. There are other reasons that Haiti is hit especially hard by earthquakes. It's the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, and they've suffered decades of political instability, corruption, and violence. There's poor infrastructure, especially in their high population areas, and many buildings are built to withstand hurricanes and not earthquakes. They don't have the resources to rebuild and improve infrastructure. Haiti was still recovering from the last major earthquake in 2010. Now, we spoke with members of a local Haitian church who say that they are struggling to connect with family members there. A pilot who regularly flies supplies to the island gives us an insight into what people in Haiti need most right now. Clean water, tarps, because grace is approaching. Everybody is sleeping outside. Nobody is going inside their homes, either because they've been damaged or because they're afraid of the aftershocks. There's no form of shelter from from the rains that Grace could potentially dump on them. Infrastructure wise, it's gonna be a long rebuild. Now that church is collecting donations for Haiti right now. We put the contact information on 10tampabay.com.